I just went from a 3.0 GPA in the fall to a 4.0 GPA in the spring, and I did it without studying. This shouldn't be possible. I mean, I spent reading week doing magic for Instagram models instead of preparing for finals. I'm going to break down exactly how I did this and what lessons you can take to do this in your own studies. But first, I think it's important we discuss exactly how bad my grades were in the fall. In the fall, I ended up with three Bs, one B minus, and an A minus. For those of you who don't know how law school grading works, everything is graded on a curve and not the type of curve where everybody gets an extra couple of points. The type of curve where only a certain number of students get A's and only a certain number of students get B pluses. The median score in a law school class, depending on the class size, is either a B or a B plus. So that means that for every single one of my classes, say for one, I was either at or below the median. And this dropped my GPA a ton. I had a term GPA of 3.07 in the fall and it dropped my cumulative GPA to 3.29. That semester dropped my grades so low that I was no longer ranked at my law school and law schools only rank the top half of the class. I was no longer in the top half of my class in terms of GPA. I had fallen that low because of how bad that semester was. And it's not like those grades weren't warranted. In the fall, I took business organizations, criminal procedure, evidence, and then two sports law courses. So three substantive law courses and then two courses that I was moderately interested in. The problem came with my effort though, and the fact that two of the classes were remote slash asynchronous. In fact, I only needed to spend about four hours per week on campus for my lectures. That's all. The amount of time I actually spent on campus was significantly less than that. I let myself skip too many classes, skip too many readings, and avoid studying. And that was my downfall. I didn't put in any effort at all, and it shows in my grades. The one grade that I did do well on was NCAA compliance, but I'm not even confident I earned that grade because the professor was let go for incompetence. He basically was assigning grades at random and couldn't justify what he was doing. But luckily, I was able to turn it around in the spring. In the spring semester, I earned a term GPA of 4.0 and it raised my cumulative GPA back up to the level that it was as a 1L. This should not have happened. Like I said, I did not study for finals, at least not to the level that I should have or to the level that I've done in the past. I was literally poolside doing magic and working on YouTube videos the entirety of reading week. But the two things that did make a difference and helped me attain that 4.0 are focus and interest. These are the two main things that set apart my fall semester from my spring semester. First, let's go over focus. I spent a lot more time focusing on my classes when the spring semester came around. In the fall semester, I had a lot more on my plate and I wasn't focusing on classes nearly as much as I should be. In the spring semester, I was a lot more focused on my classes. I was only taking classes and TAing, and the classes I was TAing, I'd taught or taken before, so I had a lot more background experience. It made it a lot easier to take time away from other things and put it into my schoolwork. I was able to actually get my readings done and actually show up to class, which I know is a basic thing, but it's something that I was missing in the fall. I know that sounds extremely basic and you're probably like, is that it? Is that all that you did to get a 4.0 in law school? You just focused on your class? Kinda, yes, but a lot of people overlook this. They spread themselves far too thin. They spend too much time doing extracurriculars or working other jobs or on their hobbies. You need to focus and make those classes a priority. If the class is your primary focus and you spend a lot of time thinking about it throughout the semester, 
then you're going to be a lot better prepared come finals time. You won't need to spend as much time studying at the end because you'll already have a background built up. So I know this is a very straightforward and very simple advice, but make your classes your primary focus, not your journal, not your other student organizations and everything that you're a part of. Your class needs to be your primary focus. The main thing that really helped me attain the 4.0 though is interest. I was far more interested in my classes this semester than I've been in any of my other classes throughout law school. This semester I took Advanced Criminal Procedure, Securities Regulation, Chapter 11 Bankruptcy, and then two more sports law classes. And some of those might not sound that interesting to you, but for whatever reason, they clicked with me, particularly securities regulation and chapter 11 bankruptcy. The sports law stuff obviously clicked with me. Uh, if you aren't aware, I'm in law school for sports law. I'm also doing a master's in sports law and business. So that's why that speaks to me. But those classes really spoke to me. I had a genuine interest in the material and in the subject at large. That meant it was a lot easier for me to sit down and to get the reading done. And outside of the readings, I was a lot more likely to actually think about the material. I was more willing to talk about the material with my friends and explain concepts from those classes to classmates taking different classes. Because I was so interested in the material, it made it easier to get the work done and actually absorb it. Now this isn't something that you can force and you aren't going to be interested in every class that you take, particularly as a 1L where they force you to take classes. But there are a couple of tricks to increase your interest in a specific area. One thing I do is take a look at the syllabus, see if there's anything at all that speaks to you. If there is, focus primarily on that and think about how the rest of the course connects to it. One of the classes I took this semester was amateur sports law. I don't really care that much about the right to play sports, etc, etc. But I love antitrust law applied to sports. So the entire class, I focused on how antitrust law applied to it. You can even game the system a little bit by thinking about how the class connects to another class or another topic that you might be interested in. For example, with securities regulation, a lot of it was very cut and dry SEC regulations. That is boring for everybody. I don't care who you are, but I find economics fascinating. I One of my undergraduate majors was economics and I have an economics degree. So I would constantly think about how this applies to economics and to free market theory and market efficiency and all of these other things. And it kept me interested enough in the course that I was able to go and get an A minus on the exam. One final thing that ties all of this together is time. The amount of time that you spend on a class really does correlate to how well you're going to do in that class. And this doesn't need to be traditional studying. In fact, I would say traditional studying is one of the worst ways to ensure that you're going to do well in a course. What you wanna do is find topics within the subject that you find interesting and constantly be working on them and thinking about them. When it came to amateur sports law, the class I did the best in, I was constantly thinking about it, constantly working on it. I was talking to friends about it. I made an entire video about the NCAA and antitrust law because I found it so fascinating. Nobody watched it, but I still made it because I found it interesting. 
I TA'd an amateur sports law course for master students while I was taking the JD level of the course. And I was constantly thinking about amateur sports law. Same thing with sports branding. Whenever I was outside of the classroom, I was constantly thinking about it, constantly thinking how it would apply. I still have the textbook for the course on my desk, even though it's been a month since the final. I started carrying a baseball around with me and just using this when I'm in the middle of meetings because I'm constantly thinking about stuff in sports now. Chapter 11, bankruptcy. I started reading bankruptcy filings and stories about companies that are filing for bankruptcy. Uh, those of you who are involved in like the marketing and business side of YouTube, I'm sure you know who Atrioc is. I would watch Marketing Monday and think about how many legal implications there are with what he's doing and what he's talking about. Same thing with securities regulations. Watching his videos over and over just made it so much easier to stay involved. So one thing that you can do, watch YouTube videos on a topic related to the course. As a refresher, there are three big things that you should be doing to improve your grades without traditionally studying. One, making sure that the class is the focus of your time, effort, and energy. Number two, making sure that the class and the material is something you're actually interested in. This doesn't mean that you need to be interested in every part of the class, but you should find a couple of things that pique your interest and make it so that way it is not a slog to get through the readings and you don't dread going to class every day. The last one is time. Put in time however you can, whether it be doing the readings, talking about the course, uh, studying, which you don't need to study in a traditional manner, watching YouTube videos on it, making YouTube videos on it, or any other way. Just make sure that you're putting in time on the material. That's what I did to go from a 3.0 GPA in the fall to a 4.0 GPA in the spring. I have I'm looking at my grades right now. I have an A+, plus, which means I tallied the class, top score in the class, two A's, and an A-. minus. I have one grade that hasn't come in, but for now, I have a 4.0 GPA for the semester. And the commonality between all four of those A's are the three things that I just mentioned. But what are y'all's thoughts? Do you think that everything that I've said is complete BS and I just locked into this or do you think that there's some actual merit in my reasoning behind why my grades improve so much without actually studying go ahead let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe it really does help out the channel and if you're interested in learning more about law school i recommend that you check out this video here